Pflugerville resident Tommy Lavario developed a love for Ironman triathlons, but in September of 2017, that was put on pause. He was riding his bike when the Department of Public Safety says he was hit by a distracted driver. Lavario was left with a spinal cord injury, unable to move from the chest down. I had about 35 percent to 55 percent surviving. We beat the odds. Two years later, he's getting ready to participate in the wheelchair category for the Austin Marathon. Okay, do you warm up? The staff at St. David's Rehab Hospital have been helping him adjust to his new normal. According to the National Spinal Cord Injury Statistical Center, there are nearly 18,000 cases of spinal cord injuries in the U.S. each year. And out of the probably 1,100 patients I treated, I think less than 10 have been able to return to such an active uh, level of uh, uh, physical activity and competition. Dr. Juan Latori is the executive director of the Spinal Cord Injury Program at St. David's. Though Lavario may make exercise look easy, Latori knows recovery is physically and mentally taxing. When somebody has a spinal cord injury, you know that disrupts so many facets of someone's life. It's not just the loss of strength and sensation, but also uh, the loss of independence. Which is why this doctor says it's special for him to watch Lavario train for the marathon. I feel proud of Tommy. Lavario's learning to exercise using just his arms. He's had to practice patience and lean on the support of his family, friends, and medical team. Good luck, guys. Good luck, Tommy. He plans to do the marathon using a hand cycle. Last weekend, I did my second 33 mile ride. Lavario says it feels good to be a competitor again. I hope that I can be an inspiration to others who are you know, newly injured um, spinal cord injury patients in that it's not the end. You know, it's just the beginning of new things. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News.